when someone says the word barbecue to me, the first thing I usually think about are baby back ribs. Today I'm gonna show you my 3S baby back rib recipe. I'm gonna start with something simple, then I'm gonna add something sweet, then I'm gonna add something special. Today on Outdoors with Jeff. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Outdoors with Jeff. Before we light the coals for today's cook, take a minute and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified of any new content that comes to the channel. Today we're doing one of my favorites, my 3S baby back ribs. For the first S, we're starting with Kinder's The Blend Seasoning, which is a coarse salt, pepper, garlic mix. Second, for the sweet part, we're going to add Honey Hog Barbecue from Meat Church. And to finish it off, we're going to add something special on the end. We're going to be using the Texas Pepper Jelly Rib Candy in the Pineapple Habanero flavor. Now, I know you guys have seen a lot of videos on this Texas Pepper Jelly, and I've been really wanting to try this here for some time. They make a ton of flavors, and this brings a much different flavor profile to the cook than what we're used to. Now I'm starting with a four pound slab of back ribs. I'm just going to cut that end off just to square the ribs up. And next I'm going to take a spoon and use the back of the spoon to start taking off the membrane on the back. I always take the membrane off when I cook. I feel like it lets the rub adhere better to the meat. So if you work that spoon up underneath the bottom toward the middle, and then you can work your fingers around the edges and then get right up underneath there and pull that membrane off. Next, I'm adding the blend seasoning, and then I'm going to come over that with a coating of the honey hog barbecue seasoning and getting both of those on there in nice, even layers so that we get a great bark to form. On today's cook, I'm going to be using master built lump charcoal along with some post oak and apple wood chunks. Now while the ribs rest, I'm going to preheat the master built 560 to 275 degrees. This is going to be a four hour cook overall. Now this is why you let any piece of meat rest. You want that rub and seasoning to be absorbed into the product so that you're going to get a great bark in the end. Now that our smoker has come up to temp and our ribs have rested for about 15 minutes, we're going to go ahead and get these on to cook. When you get your ribs on the grill, always remember to tighten them up and place them exactly how you want them to cook. So I'm going to set a timer and come back and check on these in an hour. And here's what we're looking like after one hour. You can see we're getting a crazy good looking bark to set on these ribs. Now you can see we're getting some really good smoke off of that post oak and apple wood blend. Now I'm just coming through here with a good spritz of apple cider vinegar and water mixed together 50-50. And we're going to let these bathe in that smoke for about another hour. And here's what we look like after two hours. Now you can see we've got a really good bark form and we've got some great color. You got that nice reddish mahogany tone. So now that I've got the color that I like, I'm going to go ahead and get these off to wrap for the second phase of the cook here. So here I'm getting off a little bit of that bone blood. And as far as what I'm going to use for my wrap, I'm just using heavy duty Reynolds foil, but I'm not putting a whole lot in the wrap today. Um, I'm just putting in a little bit more of the honey hog seasoning. And just for the savory flavor, I'm just gonna add three dabs of butter. We have a lot of flavor coming on the back side of this cook with the rub and also with the glaze. So we got the ribs wrapped up tight, meat side down and we're going ahead and getting them back on the grill and we're gonna have a run time here of two hours.
And here's where we're sitting at after four hours of total cook time. Now, when you look at these bones and you see that white discoloration and then this amount of pullback, you know that your ribs are done. You can also take a toothpick and probe for tenderness as well. Now here's where the star of today's cook comes in. I'm gonna be adding that pineapple habanero Texas pepper jelly to both sides of the rib. And I'm gonna take my brush and evenly spread this glaze out. Uh, that's important for the process where this is going to cook and tack up over the next 20 minutes. With the glaze applied, we're just going to let this go back on the smoker for another 20 minutes at 275. And these ribs are officially done. Now just to recap, we started with a four pound slab of baby back ribs, seasoned it with the blend and honey hog barbecue, and then we got it on the smoker at 275 for one hour, spritzed it, and then put it back on for another hour, and then pulled it and wrapped it at two hours and let it go for another two hours in full. We then glazed it with a Texas pepper jelly rib candy and let that go back on the smoke for about 20 minutes. These ribs were bite through and clean off the bone tender. And I'll tell you what, these three flavor profiles came together well. If you tried any of the Texas pepper jelly rib candies, leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought of it. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Outdoors with Jeff. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications when more content comes out. And also check out these videos here on the channel as well.